Goldilocks Productions provides professional internet, TV, and radio shows in the spiritual and new age genre. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Spiritual Insight Show. I am Reverend Tiffany White, Sage Woman, and I am pleased to be with each and every one of you today. Uh, whether you're watching this show live or you are watching again in the archives or listening to it, just thank you so much, everyone who is here, present, right here, right now, <laughs> whatever your now is, uh, with me. I'm so um, happy to be to be with everyone today, and um, uh, so thank you for tuning in again. This is not only a radio show for those callers that have called in and also this is being live broadcasted live on facebook on the goldilocks productions um facebook page so if you would like to watch the show there as well you can catch it um on facebook as well just a little bit of warning if you watch the tv show or watch it via facebook live and you are listening to it on the radio there is a delay between the audio and the video so i just wanted you to know that <laughs> it's going to be like you know one of those uh, old foreign films where the mouth and the words just don't seem to match up <laughs> but <laughs> and please if you do uh, if you are watching live please do so share share the show i really am honored uh if you would would share it as well and so i'm very grateful for that so <laughs> all right so i usually do the gemstone and animal um at you know for um for the week and i will do that i didn't i usually sit with it and okay Ah, you know, let's let's channel it before showtime. But I didn't do that today uh, because it's just come on. How many of us life has been coming at us really hard and fast lately? Mm, yeah, I'm not the only one. I know we're all feeling it, and so <laughs> it it's kind of kind of crazy. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Terry. Thank you. Looking forward to the show. Oh, many blessings, dear. Thank you so much uh, for everyone tuning in. And again, if you did want to call in, the call in number is 86. I'm um, sorry. Whoa. The phone number to call into the show is 323 870 Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you can call me too. Get my, my personal number out. But you could, it's easy. You can contact me with my website, um, whitesagewoman.com. So many ways to get in contact with me. Um, so again, just <laughs> welcome everyone. All right. So what I would like to um, let everyone also know is that... Um, Next Monday, there will not be a show live because I'm having a special presentation next Sunday evening at 8 p.m. The reason why for that show only that I'm changing the show um, day and time is because my very special guest is an Italian psychic who's in Australia. So I would need to accommodate her time zone. They're 14 hours ahead where she is. So I was like, okay, well, we have to time it to where it's not too late for her, not too early. So it's going to be Sunday, uh, the 20th will be my next show. All right. And so tune in for that. Um, Sunday, the 20th at 8 p.m. I will put some notices out with that. Um, we're going to, of course, open it up to callers. We want callers to call in and experience this uh, very talented and gifted Italian um, psychic. Uh, so really looking forward to that. To that, and her name is Marilyn uh, Vacano. Vacano, 
I do believe I'm saying her name correctly. Yes. Okay. So that's, I'm really excited about that. But then I will, for the following Monday, I'll go back to my regular show time. It's just um, for people in different time zones, if I want to accommodate them, I'll change the show time. So just want to let y'all know about that, but it'll be, like I said, publicized um, everywhere. So you'll be able to keep in touch with that. So, all right. And good morning, everyone showing up. Terry, Veronica, thank you everyone for tuning in uh, today. And uh, yeah, my hair is like bad hair day, but who cares, right? <laughs> it's whatever. All right. So these experiences, these energies um, and callers, thank you. Please remain on the line. We have lots of callers lined up. Uh, you don't want to miss your, your, your lined up. I take them in the order that they are received. So callers, if you hang up, you'll lose your spot in line. So just hang on. I'll get to the callers too. Those who are watching live can ask questions uh, and communicate with me via the, um, the comment on um, the Facebook page. You can communicate with me that way as well, as many of you are. So, you know, with the thank, with the good mornings and looking forward to the shows, thank you all so much. I'm very honored for each and every one of you. Um, so um, being here. Yay. <laughs> all right. So uh, we've had a lot of energies going on here. We, you know, we, we've all, those of you who have been catching up with what's going on, uh, you're not just up in space and, and even all around us. And oh my gosh, this is kind of crazy. Um, the Lion's Gate just closed. Lion's Gate's that portal that opens, uh, that opens June 20, June, July 26th through August 12th. So that closed. Mercury retrograde just started yesterday. But I, I want to, I'm sorry, on, yeah, yesterday. So I just want to show you how beautiful all this really is. It's not such a bad thing. Mercury retrograde's not as bad as everyone thinks that it is. So I want you to think about this. How did everyone go through, think of the dates, July 26th through August 12th with the peak at eight on 8-8? Eight, eight. How are your energies? Um, I, I went from really, I went through like I think every emotion possible <laughs> that I went through. And the reason why we go through that is, is to help expand ourselves and to help release things that are no longer necessary. All right. But when you're going through that process, it seems kind of like I'm going crazy. What in the world's happening? You feel bipolar. You feel, um, I'm just really glad it's over. One day I, I spent on the couch. I'm like, I'm not moving. I, I, I'm not moving. I can't deal with these energies right now. And it was okay. I needed to do that. I needed to just shut down and just allow. We all are having DNA changes. We're having um, beautiful symbols, uh, these, you know, attunements and downloads and uploads from ascended beings. Uh, it's all part of our expansion process. And so we have to be, yeah, I thought I was in menopause. I know I'm telling you, right? I was waking up in the middle of the night sweating Veronica yes I was waking up in the middle of the night sweating and I'm like oh my gosh I'm on fire I thought fire was going through my veins I just it was really crazy and and I was oh my goodness and, and so many other light workers we were we were sharing and communicating with each other going are you feeling it too and it's like yeah you know you go from happiness to I want to bang my head on the desk <laughs> it's just it was uh but it was all very beautiful though because we, we all have to, to go through that and be be very loving and gentle with ourselves during the process but I'm really glad that's over this is one of the hardest I think portal openings or gate openings so far uh, for me, as far as really feeling it like that way, it was like woo, really, really tough. But we got through it. Now, so now we go into Mercury retrograde, which is really a time for us to go in and let's process what just happened. You know, we have to take the time to just slow down and process now everything that has happened instead of, okay, I'm glad that's over with now. Vroom, I'm going to just keep going forward 100 miles an hour with 
my life, the way life comes at me without any, any thought or gratitude or maybe even understanding of what we just been through. So the Mercury retrograde gives us this opportunity to spiritually sit back and think about this is everything that has happened and it's beautiful. It really is. And uh, even if we felt like we were losing our mind or going through these major physical changes, you know, um, so it's let's just ease into it. it, ease into this whole process. Right. Ah, gently and with peace. Um, I kept telling myself that it was like, you know, all right, all right, we're, we're easing into this gently <laughs> and peacefully. You know, uh, so anyway, I like to hear what, you know, what some of you maybe had experienced. So just, just remember that the retrograde, uh, and I do believe it goes into September 5th. So 813 to September 5th. Uh, just the next two weeks. It's not a really, really long one, but during this retrograde, Mercury retrograde, Mercury is the planet of communication. You don't want to start anything new. You may find that communication with loved ones, with even friends, with with um, co-workers, um, it just with anyone that you communicate with may seem a little off. You may seem like you're not on the same page. You're not connecting in that communication. Uh, just, just keep at it until you're both on the same wavelength, so to speak, that you understand each other. But most definitely business-wise, do not sign any new contracts. This is not the time to, during this time frame, to sign a contract for a home, buy a car, get a new computer, anything like that. Any commu communication related uh, business deal or um, um, product that, that you would buy. Because what's gonna happen is even if nothing happens during the retrograde, after Mercury goes direct, uh, let's say, let's really get past this. And so it goes direct on September 5th. It's not never instantaneously. You know, allow several days, they call the shadow days, uh, to really get through it. So maybe by September 10th. Try to sign any contracts if you can till after September 10th. Okay, let's give us some really safe leeway. Buy something. Of course, if, if, if we're in such a fast-paced technology, right? I mean, if your phone breaks it's something that you already have and you're just getting it your replacement replacement is different getting something fixed is a little different but buying something brand new this is where we can have um because you're, you're it's a brand new communication brand new path that's something that you have to be careful about so if your computer crashes you're replacing something that's all right Okay, because we keep, can't wait, <laughs> can't wait this time to, to, to get that uh, taken care of. So we understand that. So just, just starting something new. Let's finish what we've already started. How about that? And that's what we're talking about is everything that we've been through. Let's process this gently and easily. All right, let's step into that um, process uh, with peace and ease, right? Yeah. Even if you don't understand it, that will come. The understanding will come. All right. So um, I'm asking right now, I'll put it out there, what crystal or gemstone is recommended for everyone at this time? And <clears throat> I'm hearing any of the grounding stones, any of the colors of the first three chakras, red, orange, yellow, any of those colors and they're normally like the jaspers, um, very grounding or the black stones, you know, the hematite, the jet, any of those dark colors that represent like the soil or their earth or, you know, it, it's very grounding. Stick with those. We still need those. All right. And, and, what do I mean by, you know, we're grounding into the earth, connecting with the earth. We are with nature, with nature, and we all are one. And it's that's how we ground. That's what's important is going outside and just becoming, reconnecting. We are a part of nature. We are 
considered earthlings, right, of course. Um, so that means aren't we beings of earth? So there's a connection. We're living on earth. All right. So we have to be respectful of her and honor her. And so it's, uh, we, we are connect, we are one, whether we realize it or not. So that's what grounding is, you know, and just going out there and having some, some, some time in nature more than ever. All right. And, and so staying in the here and the now, I'm here in the now, I'm here in the now. When you feel yourself start to take off, you start to feel kind of a little like I'm drifting, um, come back. I'm right here right now in my body. All right. And so, uh, yeah, unless you're going to go into a, some sort of meditation or you're going to go lay down, that's fine. <laughs> but especially when you're driving, stay focused. <laughs> Are you doing operating some type of machinery? All right. So what I'm going to do is open up the, the phone lines and I'm going to take a couple calls and then I'll get back into um, just talking about how everything is going. How are we feeling? And because um, it is important. We need to recognize what's happening to each and every one of us and not just Poof, bad day, blow it off as a bad day and I feel better now. We really have to address the issues that's going on. All right, so let's take uh, first caller is area code 940. Welcome to the show. May I get your name, please? Hi. Hi. Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Hi. And I just appreciate what you had to say about the intense energies. And then, I mean, I felt it intense, and I kind of watched it be so intense with others around me. However, you know, I felt like such a relief. I, this last week, I just had a sense of peace and... I guess detachment to that intensity. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's great. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Does that make sense? It makes total sense. And you do have to be. And, and you brought up a really great point here is that even though we experience it, we're not attached to it. We have to detach. Um, a lot of this is, is just, you know, I think we have things so buried inside, and as it's coming out, we are, we're experiencing it as it's leaving us. And so we have to detach, right. detach from it, let it go, let it go. Um, we, it's got like a spiritual decluttering. We're really getting rid of things that no longer serve us. And so that's, that's a perfect. I kind of felt that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Tammy, exactly. And that's a great point. Thank you for, for, for sharing that. Uh, but did you have a specific question, sweetie? I did. And, and one of the things I've kind of learned over the last month is kind of detach from the outcast of, you know, what it, my expectations are to certain things and, and uh, learning to attract instead of chase down. And mm. I have mm -hmm. a potential, I have a potential funder that I need to attract to my project. And I was just curious, you know, is there any insight on how I can attract that? funds that I need through this company, through this individual, without changing her, so. Yes. Um, now, for you, this is what I'm getting immediately, and I haven't heard this in a while, but it is, it does help us to stay focused, is, is what the guides and the angels, and that's what I communicate with, those in the multi-dimensional, those in the upper vibration for everyone's highest and greatest, all right? And they're suggesting a vision board because you um you're very good in business but sometimes your mind overdrives and this is to help train your mind with accepting and opening up to divine abundance so if you can visually see it your mind will be um at peace it's like training your mind all right so they want you to make this vision board of just money whether it's like gold coins just just coming from even like the heavens, you know, just clouds, you know, and just gold coins showering okay. you. All right. Okay. And it doesn't matter where it comes from or how much it is. You know that you always have enough. You always have plenty. Okay. And because... When we hear this, our mind Im immediately wants to know everything. Our mind, but I need to know how much. I need to know when. You know? 
and what form is coming, you know? Right. And uh, when we do that, we're limiting how the universe is going to give it to us. The universe can say, okay, I've got, you know, a, a, a really big amount, bigger than what we thought of, of abundance that's getting ready to wash over you. We're getting ready to send this wave. And then we put it in a box by going, I want this amount in this way. And the universe stops for a minute going, wait a minute, that's much lower than what we were going to give you. And the the route that you wanted to come in was not the way we we're going to send it in. So now we've got to step back, pause, and try to give it to you the way that you that you're wanting it to come in. So by not putting any, okay. Okay. you get it? By not putting it in a box, by not okay. saying specifically, I want it this way, but just I'm open to receive and let it shower on you. All right. And so do you, okay. you've the funds and they don't like the word funds. <laughs> But they understand. What are they like they, they, they understand. Yeah, you know, it's it's all abundance. It's all part of our divinity. It's all part of who we are. It's and we separate so much. And sometimes there's a little. I have to sit back for a moment and just accept what they're saying because they're not into separation like we are. And part and abundance is part of our okay. divinity, and we've we feel like here in this in this earth body in this physical existence that we have to earn it you, you know what i mean it's like we almost like have to deserve yeah. a certain amount of money and that stumps them because they're like no it's part of your divinity it's part of who you are everyone has access to this we just have to know how to tap into that and that is to go higher than our mind to let our minds be quiet sit back okay. and just receive Okay, but do you uh, you are you are in business for yourself? Is, is that what you said? Because I do see you, um, right? Be very much uh, the boss lady, <laughs> and it's gonna keep it's gonna keep yeah. being successful. It really is. Just just uh, be careful of people that want to come in. This is like a little warning. They're they're saying is you don't need. Um, like legal partners. You don't need anything like that. You're very good. You already have a team. You have an angelic team. You already have a committee that works with you. And right. um, you are intuitive. You do get, get some really, you do listen to some really great advice that your angels and guides are giving to you. So continue to do that. They're applauding you for that. Right. Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> So, uh, can I can I tell you something that happened this weekend that never happened before? Yeah, absolutely. With my angel. Uh huh. No, I always ask, you know, for everyone. To, I have like a staff meeting in the morning with my angel. Oh, God, Jesus, the whole Yes. And, uh, <laughs> I asked for my my highest angel to come and sit with me during this meeting and. This one angel just said, hey, hey, I'm here. And his name was Ezekiel. Aww. And I had never heard that name before. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I looked at all up and everything. And I was so excited. Just kind of like stepped out, or an angel stepped out and said, I'm here, I'm here, this is me. Aww. And it's all about, you know, like the last two weeks of energy just helping me through this transformation. Mm-hmm. That was really cool. That, I've never had it happen to me before. And doesn't that feel wonderful? It's just like yeah. this this rush of, of love that we think we know what love is until we're touched by an angel. It's just we really can't put it into words. You cannot describe it. It's just such an overwhelming, wonderful feeling. You are completely supported. You feel their wings, you feel you are comfortable in, in God or creator's hands and, and then supported with the angels of the wings around you. And it's just a lovely, wonderful feeling that's beyond words. And so I'm so, so happy for you, Tammy. I got goosebumps. And I think that's wonderful. So keep having your I just could never, I heard it. Mm -hmm. I heard it happened to everybody, but it finally happened to me. Yay! 
think that's the, and keep having your, I like, I call it the team meetings, you know, my, my committee, my committee meetings with my angels and high guides. Absolutely. And, and cause you know, we have, staff meeting. yeah, yeah, right. Your staff meeting because how manifestation works is we have to create it first in the upper vibration and then let it come down. So give it to your team okay. in the upper vibration. They know the best way to make it manifest and they make it happen in the physical. We try to make things happen in right. the physical. Okay. We're doing a complete opposite. We try to make it in the physical, make it happen. Okay. And it's no, always take it. And I have a funny story too, is that you can do this for anything. Even call upon an angelic mechanic for your car. Uh, I, it has worked. You know, there was something that kept, a code kept going off on yeah. one of our Jeeps. and was driving my husband crazy. And I was like, just step back, please. And let me call in this, the angelic committee. Because he knows I know this. And I was like, let's call it angelic mechanic <laughs> to, to help you, to either bring someone to help you or to, or to let this knowledge come in to you. And so then... You know, he woke up the next morning and he just knew what to do and he fixed it. And I was like, see? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that it, cool. it does. It does work. That's and it's cool. so great. Yeah. So the, the just the, pat yourself on the back, Tammy. You have come a long way. And so just you just needed the reminder. Yeah, That's all it was. You just need the reminder to just re open up to that abundance free flow let it all just come in okay 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 all i appreciate right. it very much oh thank you so much city thank you so much for calling in many blessings mm -hmm. thank you you too oh thank you well that's wonderful i love that and i suggest that with everyone too is is oh i like to you know have time for meditation and what does that encompass and incorporate and meditation is you don't have to always close your eyes. You don't have to sit in a guru position, you know, with your legs crossed. And, and because if your body is uncomfortable, you will not fully achieve the meditation state that you're supposed to be reaching that everyone talks about, right? You're not going to be hitting that, um, that Zen, so to speak. So you want to make sure you're comfortable, your body's comfortable. And I personally don't like closed eye meditations. Uh, it when I close my eyes to meditate, it creates anxiety for me because I remember in a past life, I was stabbed in the back literally by someone I thought was close to me, um, and I mean, multiple times in multiple lives this has happened, and this is where a lot of us get our trust issues, right? So whether it was in my sleep or behind my back or I had my eyes closed, it's that whole analogy of you know so. I keep my eyes open and the best way for those that don't like to close their eyes is to write, is to journal. As an I'll ask in a journal, I'll call in, okay, let's have a staff meeting with the angelic realm with my angelic committee. Seriously, I have one for my business, for home, for everything. And it doesn't matter. They are get excited that you call upon them. They want to help you. And they're, they're ready. They're ready to, to, to come to our assistance. They really are. Um, and they're excited because more and more people are doing this. More and more uh, people are activating their lights or light workers are, are activating, so to speak. So they get really excited about it. And so I'll do that. And I'll sit with my journal. And I'll put Q for question. And I'll write my question. And present the question to the committee. And I'll write A underneath of it and just sit and listen. Oh, and it comes down. Now, am I hearing actual words? No, I feel it. It crossed my mind. It's different for everyone. Some can hear, some can feel, some can just know. You know what the answer is. All right. It's different for everyone. There isn't a one right way because we all tune in a little differently. But as long as you are tuning in. All right. And so, and it will get clearer for you. Uh, and so it, it, the more you do this. And so I really love it because it gives great advice. Sometimes that my mind would sit there and think I have this game plan. And then when I take it to my angelic committee and it's no, 
we don't like that. We don't approve it. <laughs> it's going to be harder for you if you follow this. How about this? Oh, something you didn't consider. Oh, okay. And it may take a day or two. It may take a little time, a little patience. We have to be patient. But when it works, it works out beautifully without any problems, you know, without any, okay, we have to go back to the drawing board on this. No, it happens and it happens beautifully. It really does. So we just have to trust. It's that trust, right? Uh, but it's, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't done it before, I suggest that you do just sit down and call in your angelic realm. And it's uh, meditation doesn't have to be as hard as you think that it is. And one thing right now is if you have not give permission for the angelic realm to come in, the whole angelic realm to come in and support you without being asked, give them permission now. You only have to do it once and it lasts forever. But they need permission to come in and help you. Yes, you do have some that are assigned to you that will just help you. But you have, like I said, an unlimited amount you know, don't you want to get in the, the angels who are like the mechanics, the, the accountants, the, you know, all the specialists. Hey, yeah, we, we, we want your help. We want your access. I access the angels, band of angels, the whole realm of angels, uh, because they're for your highest and greatest to come in and assist me for the rest of my life. Bam, done, done. And you will feel you just will feel different and you will feel more supported. You'll feel more loved. And it's just, a, it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling. So try it. People try it. Everyone should try it. Um, it really does work. <laughs> mm. All right. So let's take another caller here. Um, all right. So area code 201. Uh, may I get your name, please? Hello. 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 Hello, Rose. I love that name. Beautiful Rose. Aw. <laughs> such, such a divine feminine name. <laughs> thank you very much. Aw, thank well, you. My question today. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Oh, no, go ahead, sweetie. I'm, I'm having, having money concerns, and I wanted to know if you see an improvement in my finances in my future. Yes, yes. And did you hear the conversation I had with the first caller with Tammy about abundance and being open? Right, but she wants to know I want to know if you see it coming. <laughs> well, so, but here's the thing. Absolutely, you have to ig ignite it. Okay, it's kind of like they just gave me this analogy. Well, I don't know why with cars. But it's like you put your key in the engine. The car is not going to go anywhere unless you turn the key. Um. They want you to turn the key. How you turn the key is by asking you shall receive. And be care don't and just ask for the unlimited abundance. You know what I need. Please supply that to me or bring it to me. Bring it to me. You know what I need. Bring it to me. All right. Again, be very careful. Don't ask for specific amounts. Um, it does work out that way to where something you may get if like if you need a specific amount for for whatever i'm just going to use this as an example like for a bill and then watch how that that amount comes in to cover that bill it's just beautiful so when we don't put things in a box and then it comes in spurts too it's not always like a lottery winning right it's um it comes in spurts and it comes in different amounts i do see you supported um again by multiple um, with the coming in in multiple ways. Uh, are you working currently? I'm not. And that's part okay. of my concern. That's why I see the broken, it's like broken energy when, when I'm trying to get okay with work, it's broken. So that usually means no. All right. So you, you, um, I know you're looking and you're, you're trying to go into that direction of, having a steady job with some income coming in and what's going to happen is that did you see like two or three sources whether they're friends or family um unexpected 
either refunds or a check or something's going to come to really just help you. And like I said, it's going to be multiple little waves of it. It's not one big thing. It's multiple waves that's going to get you through. And you will get through this. Until I find a job? Or yes, yeah, until you find a job. Yeah, because then the job that you find okay. is, is going to be very good for you. Because you, um, so then they're telling me that you're like overqualified for a lot of these jobs that's put you in a bad spot. <laughs> Because people don't want to pay you right. your worth. They don't want to pay you the worth. Isn't that terrible now? And it's just, um, but don't be frustrated by that. And be positive with it going, I, and don't say I will. I like to keep staying in the present, staying in the now. Say, I have a job that takes care of all of my needs and wants and desires. And I'm totally happy and comfortable in my job. Put it in the now. Act like you have it now. Say this, and that will come to you because you want a job that you're going to stay with. Um, you know, I feel like you've had some temporary jobs, you know, like a round of that, and you're and you're you're done with that. <laughs> done. Um, so I that I real job benefit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it, and that's what's coming for you. All right. And so no more of these temporary little jobs here, here, here and there. And it's just you finally get settled and it's time to move on. It's like, really? Um, so that is coming for you and you're going to be supported until that gets here. Um, I do feel the fall time. Um, if you're putting in applications, I would actually take this time during Mercury Retrograde uh, don't submit any new ones. You can follow up with ones that you have submitted. Don't submit any more new applications. And I know you may go, oh my gosh, but don't put in any more until after September. Uh, September 5th is when it goes direct, but I'd say let's give it a little bit of leeway. Um, so whether it's 6th, 7th, 8th, you know, uh, just in September, let's get past the 5th. And then you can start applying again, putting in for new, new positions. But that break, too, will be good for you, um, believe it or not. <laughs> All right. And just follow up with what you have put in. And don't put anything else new until, okay, I'm here in 9-7. September 7th, then, then start another wave of putting in some new applications. All right. Uh, and... You've been you've been doing really good. They're telling me you've been sat you've been doing really well with saturating and putting putting applications in for things that are even outside the norm for you, because um, you're willing to learn new uh, something new. Um, you're and you are very smart, very fast learner, and you can do that. But like I said, you have a really good background and a good history, so you're going to be able to step into a, um, another job that you're worthy of, <laughs> or, or not that you're worthy of, but that's worthy of you because they have to pay you your worth, right? So that is coming, um, and. Uh, I do feel by the end of September, maybe the beginning of October is when you will step into this new position. I do feel like it's going to happen pretty fast uh, with the interview that there's going to be multiple people in the interview, not just one person's going to interview you. It's going to be several people. Uh, they'd be impressed with you. There's usually a um, two or three interview process, but you're only going to have to go through one because they would want you that badly. And then they will contact you and say, yes, come on in. Let's talk about um, the terms. Um, and that's where they're going to offer you the job. Okay. That's how they're showing me. And in the meantime, I'm going to be seeing unexpected cash. Yes. Mm-hmm. In multiple, okay. in, multi in multiple, in multiple ways. And this is what's hard because it's like, 
we wait for it, right? It's like, okay, come on, we wait, expect it. And I know it's hard not to kind of try to let go, especially when we got bills coming in and we got stuff that's got to get paid and, and the creditors don't care. They don't care about any about that. They just want money. So we have to just, it's coming, it's coming, it's on its way. As we have to tell our mind so our mind doesn't freak out. It's on its way. All right. And visualize it's coming. <laughs> and then, hey, it's here. You know, so. Uh, but you are supported, Rose. Everything. Well, yeah. Soon, anyway, it sounds that way. So I have something to look forward to and a new job as well. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. And please call back and let, keep me updated. Let me know how things are going for you, okay? I appreciate it. Oh, Have thank, a good day. Thank you, Rose. You too. Many blessings, my dear. Oh, so beautiful. I love that. And it is. I've been there. I understand. Not just been there. It's still there. Even though we understand the whole abundance we do have some little, I'm called dry spells. We have some spells that are seem really slow with that abundance coming in, right? And then uh, again, you see things pile it in, whether we have some bills coming in or just, okay, now it's time to pay this. And it's like, oh, you know, it's like, okay, just, just take deep breaths, calm down. And another thing too, I always do is you got to have gratitude when you're paying your bills. Because what do we do when we get money? We go, oh, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We get a bill, we got to pay it. It's like, oh, gosh darn. Think of all the money I could, or all the things that I could be spending this money on if I wasn't paying this bill. Don't think that when you're taking care of um, our, and I hate to say bills, but uh, we, we always, in order to live in this day and time, we're going to have some things we have to pay, right? To pay for. So let's be grateful for it. All right. Yes. All right. I'm going to be grateful as I'm paying this power bill. I'm grateful to pay the power. I'm grateful for a roof over my head. You know, I'm grateful for the clothes and grateful for the food. I, every, every bill that goes out, I'm grateful for this, for it. I'm grateful for the opportunity to pay this bill. And, uh, you know, even if it feels weird, just keep doing it and watch what happens. It's expansion. It's a two-way street, receiving and giving, receiving and giving. Can we just be grateful when we get that check? Yes, 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 yes. Or the money comes in, however it comes in. We're grateful in the, re in the receiving, but we have to be grateful in that giving as well. And giving doesn't even mean, of course the bills that we had that we pay that the items that we need to live today all right and even grateful for um any donations that you make and not just financial don donations i hope you purge and you know what things that i don't need anymore i'm going to clear and i'm just going to take and donate i'll donate it to those that do need it there's always those in need and keep a listen out. Um, you know, there's some people have a hard time with charities and donating to this charity, donating to that charity. And oh, they're so corrupt in the CEOs and blah, 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 blah. You know what? Take it to a church. Take it, you know, take your, your clothes donations. I know a lot of churches need clothes. Um, take it to shelters. See what you can donate to. There's always someone in need. Keep, put a listen out. I love there's a lot of groups now on social media, like some swap groups or just, you know, put it out there. Hey, I have this. Who wants this? You can just come and get it. It's for free. Um, the bartering amongst ourselves most definitely uh, is alive and well. And I've seen it happen and I do it. So it's great. It's great to do that. I have this. I'm going to, you know, how? I'll give it to you. That's the giving and that's the gratitude. And I'm so glad that I'm able to do this for you. And it's going to come right back in. And that beautiful, if we sit there and are greedy with our giving, that's going to block the receiving. 
You know, you're telling the universe that you're greedy with your giving. They're going to be greedy with the giving or the receiving on your end, right? So we can't do that. We have to just be open to receive, open to give. It's, a, it's and they say it's a two-way street, but it's actually part of one. It's the whole, it's opposite sides of the same coin, so to speak. It's not two separate lanes, the giving and receiving. It's part of the one, all right? So, and we, we shouldn't try to do that with a whole separation, separation. We keep getting into trouble when we separate, all right? And so that's, it's no good. Um, now, I do have to uh, say thank you so much. I have a lot, a lot of callers, and I'm so grateful for all the callers and the listeners and everyone watching on Facebook Live today. Uh, thank you so much. But uh, I'm going to have to, my shows have to be at the 45 to 50 minutes long because we have another show at 1 o'clock that starts up. So I have to get ready for, for running that particular show. But thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in today. If you didn't get a chance to get to your call, please tune in to another broadcast. Um, and we have plenty of shows the rest of this day, too. All right. The next show, immediately, like I said, is going to start in 15, less than 15 minutes. And it's Messages from Above with Tony Green. All right. And she's on... Let me give you her call, that call-in number. So if I didn't get to you now, call it to the next show. Tony Green, Messages from Above. That call-in number is 713-955-0332. Write that down now and call back. All right? Call that number and so that you can be one of the first ones on the switchboard for there. Okay? So thank you so much. And you can check out all of the Goldilocks Productions shows all right blog talk radio just type in goldilocks productions goldilocks with a y and there's four channels it's goldilocks goldilocks production or goldilocks productions just by itself then goldilocks productions two goldilocks productions three goldilocks productions four four separate channels all right so be sure that you're following all of them on blog talk radio um, and I do, if you follow me on Facebook and social media, I do advertise and put out, let you know about each show that's going to start and come out for the day. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, I find it a great honor to sit in Sacred Circle with each and every one of you. I'm very honored um, to be in service because I tell you, I had a very intense weekend. And how many of us are like, oh gosh, I just want to rest. But I know that I'm in service and I want to be here and be, and I am taking care of myself. But I still want to be in, and this is what we're here for. We're here to help each other. All right. And so uh, we can talk ourselves out of doing something all the time, right? So it's like, no, you know, I, I yeah. So what if I had a nonstop, a very busy weekend? You know what? I'm going to open myself up and just receive messages. And give to give and let it just flow out and give um and what you find is during this time and receiving i have a lot more energy right now than i did at the very beginning of the show so it's very beautiful the giving and receiving always happens together spontaneously so thank you each and every one for sitting in this sacred circle and that's what you've done is all of us are in this circle together sharing Giving and receiving healings, love, and beautiful energy. Whether you're watching this live or on archives, this space has been held for you. So thank you, each and every one of you. May the obstacles to your flight be few and the blessings along your journey be many. Namaste. <laughs>